The Hook. Donald and Sarah went to the movies. Then they went for a ride in Donald's car. They parked up on a hill at the edge of town from where they could see the lights up and down the valley. Donald turned on the radio and found some music, but an announcer broke in with a news bulletin. A murderer had escaped from the state prison. He was armed with a knife and he was headed south on foot. His left hand was missing and in its place he wore a hook. Let's roll up the windows and lock the doors, said Sarah. That's a good idea, said Donald. That prison isn't too far away, said Sarah. Maybe we should really go home. But it's only ten o'clock, said Donald. I don't care what time it is, she said. I want to go home. Look, Sarah, said Donald. He's not going to climb all the way up here. Why would he do that? Even if he did, all the doors are locked. How could he get in? Donald, he could take that hook and break through the window and open that door, she said. I'm scared. I want to go home. Donald was annoyed. Girls are always afraid of something, he said. As he started the car, Sarah thought she'd heard some one or something scratching at her door. Did you hear that? She asked as they roared away. It sounded like someone was trying to get in. Oh, sure, said Donald. As soon as they got to her house, Would you like to come in for some cocoa? she asked. No, no, he said. I have to go home. He went around to the other side of the car to let her out and hanging on the door handle was a hook.